Okay, Peace Street Garage, and I'm uh, going to do a little bit of work on my uh, Tacoma today. Uh, nothing major, just an oil change. And uh, I actually wasn't going to film this, but uh, I just wanted to point this out. Uh, the truck was not quite due for an oil change uh, yet, but when I opened my filler, I've seen all this uh, scum and stuff, and which would kind of look like the end of the world, really. A lot of moisture in there. And uh, I don't think there's a cause for alarm here. My uh, coolant level and everything seems good. Uh, problem with my truck is that uh, it does a lot of very, very short commutes. As in, uh, I start it up, I go to work, which is less than 10 minutes away, and I shut it down. And I, I do a lot of back and forth. So uh, all these uh, short jaunts, and especially here in the Northeast, uh, it's winter right now. You got this uh, cold climate. Uh, so that's really not good. So I'm going to try to wipe this down a little bit the best I can. And uh, going to do an oil change on this truck. All right. I'm going to get as deep as I can. Of course, I don't want to lose a rag down that hole, but... I think this is just due to short drives. Uh, okay, that looks better. Try to go a little bit deeper. See, there's there's a little bit more at the base there, unfortunately. Uh, this gooseneck comes off, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go that crazy. I got the cap wiped out the best I can. Okay, let's uh, get underneath and take this uh, front guard off. Okay, well here we are underneath in the, in the front. There's this uh, big guard here. There's four bolts, 12 millimeter. I'll take these down. Uh, I think the back ones come right out. Back ones right there. The ones in the front, I think they're designed to sort of, I think you can keep the front because there's hooks here. Anyway, just gonna move on. Try to get this off, get this down and uh, see what else we can find. Okay, got my pan out of the way and uh, you can see that underneath this pan it's looking a little bit rusty. Not happy about that. This truck gets uh, rust proofed every year religiously but uh, that's what you get for Canadian climate. Oh. Okay, so here I got my little uh, wrench on here. 14 millimeter. Should be able to spin this off. Did I get that? Yes, I did. All right, I'll try to keep you in the shot. Got my best Tupperware here going. I'll try to minimize the mess. I always make a mess, so be it. Pretty dark, pretty dark. All right, we'll let this drain and then we'll uh, tackle this filter. Okay, so I'm gonna take the filter off now and the filter housing. And there's this whole uh, arrangement here for you can take this part out to drain and all that. Uh, I've taken these off just with the ratchet in, in here, and it just spins out. I also went out and I bought, a little while ago, I bought this special wrench just for that. So I'm going to try this one. Uh, see how this fits on here and try to spin this off. Uh, one side of the wrench has three grooves, and the, the other one has just one. So it kind of only goes on one way, hopefully. Try not to mess that up. 
Also gonna try to get that on with one hand, which is probably not gonna work. There we go, she's in. Now can I turn that? Okay, she's turning. Now there's a little clip up here. I don't know if that's gotta be, I don't know if it's a retainer clip. I read about it before. Doesn't seem like it's doing nothing right now. I thought it was there to uh, prevent this from spinning off, but honestly, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, right, keep taking this off. Like I said, there is a there is a means to drain this. Uh, it's probably to minimize the mess, but I don't know. It's all gonna come out in one piece, I think. I got another pan ready to catch any of this stuff here. I think I'm done undone all the threads. So there we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The residual can go in there. Alright. Okay. Let's take this up to the bench and uh, see what that old filter looks like. Okay, well here's the old filter. Yeah, looking a little scuzzy. And uh, it's a match. The new one is a match. Uh, this one's a, I bought a Fram, uh, one of the, I don't know, it was a Fram uh, Extra Guard, a little bit more expensive, I don't know. A lot of people hate Fram, but I kind of just bought what they had, and uh, it's, even though it's a, it's not a, you know, this was only like a, maybe 10 or $12. Uh, it comes with the O-rings, the smaller O-ring. I'm not even, that's the O-ring that goes in here. I'm not even gonna bother disturbing that. Uh, I'm going to replace the O-ring on the body. Uh, take this off. Yeah, it's getting a little... I mean, it's still soft, but uh, it's a little tired. We'll put the new one in here. We'll load up this... Uh, we'll load up this filter. I think it goes in this way. And then uh, get that O-ring on here and we'll throw that in the truck. Okay, so I got the uh, filter and housing loaded back in, and that little clip, uh, I don't know if it wasn't seated properly or not, but it looks like uh, you pull this down, you can pull it down. I had it down and I unspun when I took the uh, housing off, and I just drove it all the way home, and then I just pushed this back up, and I think this is meant just to rest here to uh, sort of prevent this from spinning off. So I think that's that's how it's it's seated when it's pushed all the way back up. If I'm wrong, somebody, if you see this video, please correct me. Uh, I do this stuff for fun, uh, and I mean this is probably it's probably a hundred videos on YouTube on how to change oil in a Tacoma, and most likely they're going to be way better than this one. Uh, this is just me puttering around with my stuff, and I'm just doing an oil change, and I thought I would film it. So there we go. Let's do that. We got this done. The plug is tight. Let's get some oil in this thing and uh, we'll check for leaks. So here we go. Zero W20. A little bit slow in my uh, huge funnel here. It's the best uh, funnel I could find at the dollar store. And I've had it a long time. All right, well, you get the idea. Let's get this topped up. Well, I got my cover back on. Everything looks good. No leaks. Uh, thanks for watching.